some bag. Natalie, I'm so, so sorry. I didn't mean to. How dare you? Cheating on me with my best friend, ex-best friend, a night before our wedding. You didn't leave me any options. You were so busy planning the wedding. I had to find someone else. Oh, so the first thing you do is run to my best friend. I could have gone to anyone. There is no woman that would reject me. Oh, let me be the first one then. You always tell me I'm not good enough. Let me make this easier for you. The wedding is off. I'm sure your father will be delighted to hear this after putting so much money into the wedding. Then I'll marry someone else. Really? And you think you can find someone better than me in one day? Oh, anyone is better than you. talk about it um why are you looking at me like that marry me what marry me i don't know what to say I'll give you money. Ten thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. Whatever you want. Just name me the price. And I, I will. I will. I will. Crap. What happened? I left my purse up in my room. So we have to go up. Let's go. Whoa. You okay? Where did she go? <laughs> Who's this guy? This is the guy I'm gonna marry. <laughs> this guy? A plumber? Oh, oh no, I'm not. Shut up. Natalie, my angel? You are engaged. The wedding is planned. It's fully paid for. Your guests are arriving. We are not going to cancel it. But Daddy, Edward cheated on me. <laughs> so what? All men do that. Do you think this guy won't cheat on you? You don't even know him. Wait a minute, I, I would never cheat. Edward? will give you the most comfortable life possible. He has more than enough money. What does this guy have? First of all, I would love and respect my wife. And I'm not a plum. <laughs> love? Sweetie, love is worthless. I've made my decision. And I said no. Let's go. Honey, if you go now, I will cut off all of your credit cards. You will not be able to pay off your student debts. You will have no place to live, and you will spend the rest of your life tirelessly working just to afford food. Hey, Natalie, I guess I'm not the one who should tell you that, but if you stay, you'll regret this decision for the rest of your life. You. You created this mess. Now you go solve it. Okay, okay, fine.
Why is it empty? Kitchen closes at seven, so you won't find anyone after that. Close your eyes and promise me not to look. Why? Trust me. Can I open my eyes now? Not yet. Now you can. <laughs> this is amazing. Wait. Are you sure we can eat all this food? If you don't tell anyone. Okay. Oh no, that's, that's enough of alcohol for today. What would you like to drink then? Some Coke? Coke. With this fancy dinner? Mm. Okay, I'll try not to judge you. You're lucky today it was the last one. I doubt today is my lucky day. Oh yeah. Sorry, I forgot. No, that's okay. Hey, I realize you never agreed to marry me. Yeah, about that. Look, you don't even need to like me. I just need to marry someone officially so I don't end up with that douchebag. I see. Please. Adam. Natalie. You're my only hope. Adam. I'll give you money. Which... No. Listen, I don't need money. What do you need? I'll do anything. I need you to wait here, okay? There's one thing I have to do, and I promise to get back as soon as I can. You're not just leaving me here alone, are you? I'll wait! Here you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. What are you doing here? Look, I'm sorry for cheating on you. This whole wedding planning was putting a lot of stress on me. And when I walked into our room, Madison was already naked there. And I just... You just uh, cheated on me. Yeah. Yeah. I really want this wedding to work out. I couldn't imagine marrying anyone else. But you could imagine sleeping with someone else. Madly. Enough of this nonsense. No. Enough of you talking down to me. You constantly put me down, and you always make me feel worthless. And Adam? He did more in one day than you did in the past three years. He is a poor man you just met who wants to marry you for your family money. That's not true. Nelly, you're coming with me now. No. I'm not gonna become your slave of a wife. And I don't care how much money you have. You're gonna do what I say. Let go of my soon-to-be wife. <laughs> and what you gonna do about it? I believe you're trespassing, sir. 911, what's your emergency? What took you so long?
Adam. Oh my God. Where'd you get this? I bought it. My wife deserves the best ring out there. Oh, but where'd you get the money? I, I doubt you can afford it with your plumber salary. Well, I'm not a plumber. I was I thought... I was about to fix a sink in my hotel. <laughs> I kind of own this place. The sink suddenly broke and I didn't want to call my plumber because it was already late. I know you're a little bit shocked, but... The moment I saw you in a hotel yesterday, I felt butterflies in my stomach. And I thought to myself, how the hell does this douchebag end up with the most beautiful girl in the world? Since then, I just can't get you out of my head. And everything that happened today had to be fate. Allie, will you marry me? Guys, what did you think about the video? Do you have a similar exciting story to tell? Let us know in the comments. We're publishing new short stories every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to be the first to see the new Secret Diaries.